All right, we're gonna do a little makeup for uh, the lab here, adding zinc and hydrochloric acid. So let me grab a little zinc. I have some zinc here. It's just a metal. It's number 30 on the periodic table. And it also would like to get rid of some electrons. So we're going to take zinc, throw it in here like this. Oops. I'm dropping some. That's probably good. All right. We're going to add a little hydrochloric acid to this, about 8 milliliters worth. In the lab, I ask students to measure it out. I know approximately where 8 milliliters is, so I'm just going to pour it in. So this is HCl, hydrogen chemically joined with chlorine, makes hydrochloric acid. Now you can see it's starting to bubble there. That's because the zinc is grabbing onto the chlorine and making zinc chloride, and it's releasing hydrogen gas. We're going to uh, send the hydrogen gas through this tube. So while this reaction is going on, by the way, this is going to get nice and warm down here because it's what's called an exothermic reaction, or it's giving off heat. I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to bring this into the picture over here. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start trapping some of this hydrogen gas. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to fill this up with water, like that, and keep it upside down, there we go, in here. Now this is full of water right now, but you'll see as I put this in, it's going to start bubbling, and I'm going to put that in like this, and eventually all that water is going to be displaced or pushed out of the way. Now, well, that's happening, I'm going to see if I can get a lighter. That's collecting hydrogen gas. So the next part of this reaction, I'm going to move this even further over, like this. Oh no, start over there. All right, so should be getting some hydrogen gas there. So let's see if I can do this. I'm going to try to react the hydrogen gas with oxygen in the air. It doesn't react by itself. You need a little push, and the push can just be a little quick flame or heat, and we can get a small pop out of that. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to light this flame, see if we can get it to blow up. No luck. Let's try again. Most of the water's out. Just give it just another minute. It'll be all hydrogen gas in there, and hopefully, I can get it to react this time. So the hydrogen's in here. Let's see if we can get it to react with the oxygen. By the way, I can pop the bubbles a little bit. I can hear them pop. Okay, here we go. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. Did you hear that? Let's try one more time. So. There are certain groups that did the lab that could get a really pretty loud pop, and then I'm not getting that dramatic of one right now, but it is the hydrogen reacting with oxygen, and you end up making water. I think the reaction slowed down enough. I'm not getting much out of it now. Okay, let's try one more time here. Might not be enough. Oh, that was the best one so far. So, a little bang there. Now, if you remember, I told you over here we're making zinc 
chloride. The zinc is grabbing the chlorine from the hydrochloric acid making zinc chloride. Well, zinc chloride is a white powder, and unfortunately you can't really see it in there. It looks cloudy, but that's just because of all the gas bubbles. When the reaction stops, it'll clear up pretty clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to boil off some of that liquid and show you the zinc chloride. So I'm going to move this out of the way now. Put some of this liquid in a small bowl. Take some of this, put it in a small beaker. I'm going to do as little as possible so it doesn't take too long to boil off. I like that. And we're going to put it up here, light the burner. Boil this off. Okay, so the liquid's already starting to boil, and dissolved in that is the zinc chloride. It's a white powder, and we'll let this boil off here. Give it just another couple of minutes, another minute or so. Zoom in a little more, even if I can. Move this up. Okay, just give it another, I'm guessing about one more minute, and you'll start to see some white powder hopefully forming. So we just got to get rid of the liquid, and the zinc chloride will come out of the liquid. Right, here we go, you should start to see some white crystals here pretty soon. Oh yeah, right in the middle. Right in the middle you can see it white. Those are the white zinc chloride crystals that are no longer in the liquid anymore, so you can see them. Nice. Alright, there we go. Blow that out, show you what it looks like. So there's the white crystals that form from the zinc chloride. Okay, and uh, so that's the reaction. So real quick here, just to sort of recap for you what we did. We took zinc, we added it to, I guess you can't see that. We took zinc and we added it to hydrochloric acid, HCl. That's a hydrogen joined with a chlorine. Then, that reaction, this zinc doesn't like being alone, so it grabbed this chlorine, became zinc chloride. That's the white powder you see remaining. Zinc chloride. It also generated, it freed up this hydrogen over here, so it generated hydrogen gas. Okay? Notice all the stuff I have on the left side, I also have on the right side. These are called the reactants. These are called the products. Now the other cool thing we did is we captured that hydrogen gas. So we did two reactions. We took the hydrogen, we added oxygen to it, and we created water. This is the part that was done in the test tube where you heard the pop or the bang because we're basically blowing up the hydrogen. When that happens, it reacts with oxygen to make water. This isn't exactly balanced, so it would take, uh, to make two waters, I would need four hydrogens. There we go. Thanks for watching.